So today is a blast. Today we win them up. Go to Discourteous, aren't you? Raging A comfortable win. Hello. Coming through. This one keeps charging us! That's what my shield do! Get behind me! Got it! I'll leave it to you! I'm not done! You're more comfortable at a range, aren't you? And not really dope. Nor am I. Don't worry. I'll help you keep a wide berth. Barely a blip on our radar. There's something in the water. I didn't realize there was a pond here. Yeah, this is Taka Pond. And it happened to have saved my life once upon a time. What do you mean? As a kid, I survived life under the past lords by escaping here when I needed to. It's terrible to swim in, but great for catching a bite for dinner away from Ren and Eyes. Bear in mind, our rations back then weren't enough to live off of. You had to take matters into your own hands if you wanted enough food to survive. But how did you catch them? With your bare hands? That might take a while. Fish are prone to swim away at the first sign of trouble. I'd put bait or a lure on a line and use it with a fishing rod. You must not be familiar with fishing if this sounds new to you. Here. Let me show you how it's done. Okay, good. Uh... Fishing. Hello. Now, where might those fish be? You know. I've got something. Good fishers always keep their cool. How do you do it? How do you... How do you...
Reel it in. I'll let you go this time. Always keep their cool. <coughs> I don't even know what to do it. And that's all there is to it. Wow. It seems like you need to have good reflexes to catch anything. I don't know if it's really for me. Sara, I think I've seen enough. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. I guess I'm just in my own little world when I go fishing. Looks like we're going to be here for a while. That's how fishing goes. You wait for a bite, and then the real battle begins. Magal told me that different fish live in different uh, no, regions, no, no, no. and you have to pick the right rod and lure for what you're hoping to catch. I don't know what to do. But that doesn't change the fact it's a giant time sink. Of course, each fish has its own unique flavor, too. And some of them are supposed to be extremely delicious. No, when I... you put it like that, maybe it's worth me trying my hand at fishing uh, after all. You're just in it for the food. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping we'd get to fish during our travels. And it just so happens I made sure to grab my brother's old rod before I left Vicent. So, if you ever feel like fishing when we've got a little downtime, just let me know. Good to hear. Thanks for showing us. I don't know. I do wish. Okay!
What do you say we check? Just me, or have those two barely mm. spoken a single mm. word to one another? I know, right? But after everything that happened with Nagal, is it really <laughs> any wonder? Kind of puts a damper on the whole journey, though, huh? <laughs> How long do you think they're gonna keep this up? If it bothers you that much, why don't you ask them? Why do I have to ask? How come you walk together like that? <gasps> she really doesn't beat around the bush. <laughs> you mean Kisara and myself? You hadn't noticed? You've been practically joined at the hip ever since we left Vicent. I guess it's force of habit, most likely. I was always ready to protect him, should the need arise. It sort of came with the job description. Right. From being in the Elder Menencia Guard. Although, Dohalim's pretty capable of defending himself, isn't he? Having guards doesn't necessarily mean the one being guarded is weak. No one's perfect all the time. Even so, it's not like they're entirely wrong, Gisara. You're no longer in my employ, <laughs> after all. I don't know. I mean, if it's what she's used to and you're both comfortable <laughs> with it, then who are we to judge? But she doesn't <laughs> serve him anymore. <laughs> it isn't normal for her to keep following him around like she still does. You know, she's probably right. And a lot has changed over the last few days. I guess it wouldn't hurt to rethink our relationship in light of the new circumstances. Perhaps I'll give it some thought, after all. Does that sound all right by you? Of course. You might want to stop asking his permission for <laughs> every little thing while you're at it. <laughs> Sorry. It's not that easy, shaking off old habits. I'll probably need a little time to get fully used to it. you looking at easy peasy I knew I could handle it Dolim care if I hang out for a while <sighs> you worried about what's going on with men and Sia? What makes you think that? Well, you were speaking to Kisara earlier, weren't you? It's rude to listen in on others, you know. Sorry. I didn't hear what you two were actually talking about, though. I just figured it was Men and Sia since it was the two of you. I am but a former lord who has abandoned his post. I'm no longer in a position to lead the realm in any capacity whatsoever. Yet Kisara still seeks out my opinions, knowing full well that is the case. This despite the fact I am no longer her master, either. Couldn't it be precisely because you're not her master anymore? It's natural for friends to want to hear each other's opinions. <laughs> I hadn't considered that possibility. It's funny what you miss sometimes. Hardly uncommon among artistic types such as myself. When lordships are decided based solely on one's astral energy, it can lead to funny results. But even so, you still took your job as Lord seriously, didn't you? Certainly. I learned to perform my functions. However, I was less interested in ruling so much as avoiding life and death decisions. Of course, such a mentality in the end led only to sickening pain and death taking place elsewhere out of sight. I pretended not to see or hear any of it, content to let our supposed peace and equality keep me blind and deaf to reality. I was a fool. But you're making amends. I would like to think so. The path ahead is dark, yet I still walk on. I merely pray that I shan't fall down any holes along the way. Do you mind watching our camp tonight? Shall we get moving? Oh, 
Hasta que está. Y hasta que está en la mano. Algo muy bien. Have you guys checked your equipment lately? No, but I get a girlfriend with me. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. Consider yourself finished! See 
you continue on in that my thing? Uh, yes, my lady? Something you wanted to say? Now, try this! Explosive ring! Got some interesting moves there, Dohalim. I'm glad you're on our side. I'm simply glad to hear that I can make myself useful to you all. Huh? What's wrong? We seem to have come across some rather unusual objects. What? You mean that pile of garbage? No mere garbage, I assure you. Still, I've never seen anything shaped like it before. I'm intrigued. Uh, uh... Are you curious about this stuff, Rinwell? Uh, oh, uh, yeah. I think he might have found some old Den and relics. They huh. look like the remains of a bunch of objects that disappeared after the Renans first invaded. And yet here I am, holding them without so much as a second thought. I imagine this sight must be unsettling to you. Not huh. really, just that it must be nice to be a Renan who has time to indulge in stuff like that. Unlike the rest of us. Are you interested in this stuff too, Dohalim? <gasps> Charmed uh... may be a better turn of phrase. I simply love objects that can give me a sense of what their maker was thinking. The history that went into their creation. You see, we Renans have hardly any such objects that trace back to our distant past. I still don't understand what you two find so intriguing about it, though. Why not? We're talking about our own culture here. I get that, but it's not like this stuff is any use now, does it? It's just old. Real old. Oh, but it does. Holding it in your hands like this, one can feel and engage with the distant past in a way no history book can ever accomplish. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Well, seeing as it's Dan in history, just make sure you're careful with it. All right, Dohalim? But of course. <laughs> History in the air here. I can smell it. I don't smell anything. Don't encourage him. My fists are crushing it out there! Visibility along this path will remain limited for some time. Take care not to get ambushed. I'm surprised you know the terrain here so well. Lords don't strike me as having much time for wandering in the woods. Sometimes I would take strolls along here when I wished to be alone. You always did have a bad habit of disappearing without telling any of us guardsmen. Bother fighting them because I certainly won't run away from a battle. Brace yourself. This one stops. I shall ensure you survive this. Dragon swarm. Burn. Dragon swarm. It's a duel of the art. 
Someone seems rather pleased with herself. Uh, you... Did you hear all of that? Huh. No. Huh. No. around here. I can feel my feet getting blisters. That's mountain hiking for you. It can be pretty tough if you're not used to these sorts of trails. I take it you're comfortable with them then? Oh yeah. We used to run up and down these slopes all the time for our training exercises. This one's tough, but we have no choice. Let me know if you need healing. Get out of this! Don't Burning! Go for it! Prepare to crumble! There's the healing arc! Burn it! That's my cue! Shut him down! You can ease off yourself. Thought calls the kettle black. Good advice for all of us, to be honest.
Can't try to be more careful. Can't get out of this. You're finished. Dragon form. Come one, come all. Explosive ring. What? What? Dragon form. The enemy will be lost. You'll see about that. Do it. Astral energy. Say no more. Shot. Well done. I'm done Astral energy! Full throttle! Go! I still got a ways to go! Pretty lethal combination, aren't we? What can I say? I had a good partner. Looks like some solid equipment. More damning runes here too, I see. What were people even thinking back then? Trying to build anything around here. M maybe the This one's tough, but we have no choice. Let me know if you need healing. You got company! Not today! Oh, oh, try this! Try this! Try this! Explosive oh, ring! I'm ready! Trigger! Energy. Say no more. Shut. Well done. Why are you human? To stop you dying? Sleep now. Begin. Do it. Kizara. Frozen. Hammer.
I... I think I'm getting stronger. No, I'm not. Hey! It's that ingredient! Yeah, the one for that recipe. You always have an eye for food. Used a bit too much healing. This one will be difficult to predict. Let the marksman handle this. Don't mind if I do. Stick in going. a bind. Dragon swarm. Reload. I never fit. Begin. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Here's a healing card. Lightning orb. Raging orb. Now. Yeah. Say no more! Shock! Well done! Here's evil! Raging Cascade! Freeze Lancer! Come on! Dance the Cascade! Now! Take this! Demon's Demon Descent! Descent. Flashing Fang! A comfortable win. <sighs> I sure have built up a sweat with this hike. Rest assured, we have reached the top. It's all downhill from here, quite literally. So Mahogsar's just up ahead then? Indeed. If you look, across this mountain is the Lord's Keep. What's this place here? Some. I've got a really bad feeling about this. So soon. So let me ask you something, Rinwa. Hoodle and Megal's cat are both animals native to Dana, right? Right. And Zoogles definitely aren't. Well, duh. Those things are too hideous to be from here. <laughs> Not that owls are any better. <laughs> hmm? Ah! Ow! Ow! I take it back! I love owls! Owls are the best! I swear! Huh. Hoodle's pretty cute, I'll admit. But I've also been rather partial to cats, too. What about you, Xion? Huh? Who? Me? I... Uh... Well, I guess... I like them both. Hmm? Nothing. I didn't say anything. Either way, the more I think about it, I've never heard of anyone keeping Zoogles as pets. Is it because Renans only use them for practical purposes? Yeah, that could be the reason. They were originally created to serve as beasts of burden, so to speak. Hey, can you guys quit standing around and get him to leave me alone? I'm begging you! Yeah. 
on the ropes. Don't forget to heal your wounds. Dragon Force! Dragon Force! Dragon Force! 
friends, aren't you? I'm not really built for close quarters combat. Nor am I. Don't worry, I'll help you keep a white gun. Nicely done. What's that big tower over there? I think the animals back at the ranch should be all grown up by now. This came out so good. Isara, let's talk for a bit. Maintaining your shield? It's becoming a familiar sight. Miguel was the one who taught me how to maintain my equipment after I first joined the Guard. Now, it's just a part of my routine. Your brother always seems to come up whenever I talk to you. That's because we had no other relatives. So it was just the two of us growing up. He was my idol. The one I looked up to and wanted to be like. When I became a guardsman, Lagiel wasn't too pleased to see me at first. It was Megal who really welcomed me aboard. Lagiel? Oh, right. She was Megal's second in the Gold Dust Cats, wasn't she? That's right. She's always been a very critical and down to earth person. In other words, the complete opposite of a dreamer like me. You're more an idealist than some pie-in-the-sky dreamer. Even so, that's my brother's doing. He'd never let me stop seeing a brighter world. He always did what he could to keep me smiling and happy. You must have meant a lot to him. He wasn't just kind, either. He always worked so hard to set an example for me and everyone else around him. <laughs> he was a true big brother. So much so that when he thought I was asleep, he'd slip out of the house to go training on the outskirts of town. You seem to know a lot about it. That's because I only pretended to be asleep and would follow after him. Hmm. You know what? I'm at a good stopping point with my shield. If you've got time, how about I tell you a couple more Miguel stories? 
I guess I'd better get comfortable. I'll take watch tonight. It's okay. Before we go, do you guys have everything? Take this! 
I'm not done! I'm ready! I won't rest until I'm the... best I can be. Still striving to be on par with the Lord? You simply can't be too strong when battle is a part of your every day. Ah, guess I misread the landing. This one will be difficult to predict. Wait! Still thinking about how to act around Dohalim? That obvious, huh? Except I don't think I'll be changed. To stay his servant. However, I am going to treat him like a fellow comrade, the same way I would with you or anyone else. For as long as I can remember, I've spent my life protecting others. Hmm. But isn't that what friends do too? Support and protect one another in times of need? Yeah. Which, in the end, pretty much means doing as you've always done, right? If that's what you're most comfortable with, I'm certainly not going to give you any grief over it. Actually, I've been thinking about how I ought to act around you all as well. Oh? No? When I set out on this journey, it was to rid Eldamen and Sia of its enemies, and search for wisdom in the outside world. Wisdom that I could potentially put to use on my return. I'm grateful to you all for letting me tag along. But it got me thinking. What am I actually contributing by being here? What are you talking about? You know how to hold a weapon, don't you? That's help enough. Is it, though? Sometimes I wish there was more I could be doing to pull my... Oops! Sorry about that. Jeez, I'm famished. Now that you mention it, what do you guys normally do for food and meals when you're out and about on your travels? What do you mean, what do we do? We find stuff to eat and eat it. So long as it's meat, I'm not fussy. Eating what you like can be good for morale in the short term. But you need to think about your diet if you want to stay healthy. <laughs> Does that mean eating vegetables too? Isn't that obvious? It does. Which I guess hasn't been happening up till now. Yeah, to be honest, we could be eating better than we do. Understood. In that case, I'll just have to make sure you're all staying healthy and eating right myself. Fortunately, yeah, well, I... I happen to know a thing or two about cooking as well. You hear that, Law? Sounds like you'll be eating your huh. greens after all. <gasps> what is it? No, sorry, it's just... I was just wondering if you had any thoughts on all this. It will do her good to have a project. No, not Kisara. I meant you. Was there anything you wanted to add? 
Me? Certainly you're not looking to me for culinary skill, I hope. <laughs> Typical Renan, <gasps> leaving everything to someone else. Rinwell, I don't think... That said, should you need my skills on the battlefield, please rest assured I have no intention of shirking my responsibilities, regardless of who we may face. I'm sure no one doubts that. Listen, guys, if we're traveling together, we should probably at least try to make an effort to get to know one another, don't you think? I wouldn't get your expectations too high in that regard. Huh. Believe it or not, sometimes I'm not sure I even know myself all that well. Stop for a minute. What's up? You already tired? My armor's pretty heavy. I think I need a little rest. I second that. All of this walking is starting to take its toll on me as well. What? You don't look it. We can't spare the time. There's places we need to be. Mahogsar's capital, Niaz, is our destination right now. But if one of us collapses, it will only serve to slow us down. And in your case, Alfin is the only one who could carry you. Best to rest while you have the opportunity. I... Enough already! I need a break, so we're taking one. <gasps> <gasps> I don't need you fretting over me. Fretting? Hey, it's not like I'm... <sighs> oh my god. Been looking for you. For me, why? Wow, wow. You were looking for me. Why? Beautiful, precious life. What the? That is all I desire. What? Then why are we fighting? Who even are you? <laughs> Can't get out of this. It's over. Dragon sword. Sleep now. Die. Get out of there. Please really? the enjoy. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Bastard! This guy's not normal! His speed is unbelievable! You mean he even surpasses a lord? I'll be saving
Is that all that you've got? Very well. Then die. Why are you in? Why are you in? Me. Oh, sorry. It's okay. And so am I. Where's that? Who was that? It's not as bad as it looks. Not bad? That's... Shion, we thought I'm you were... I'm fine. Really. What the hell were you thinking? Well, you were trying to protect me too, you know. Yeah, but I have the sword. It's different. It's not different. Besides, I... Hmm? Never mind. It's nothing. Anyway, uh, thank you. I didn't. <sighs> Look, I'm just glad that you're... Huh? Alfin? Sorry, I... That guy said he'd be back. I think maybe we should get moving before he returns, right? Rinwell has a good point. We need to go. Shion, are you sure you're okay? Shion, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I already applied some healing arts to it. It didn't even leave a scar. But his sword went nearly straight through you. I'm all right. Unless I've turned into some kind of ghost and I'm haunting you all right now. Hmm. No, I know you're not. It's just... Look, I appreciate you looking out for me, but I'm fine, really. There was also that strange light that appeared when Xion was stabbed. It seemed to make the enemy retreat when he saw it. Alfin, do you have any idea what it might have been? A light? I don't know. I was kind of preoccupied with other things at the time. Hmm. Now that I think of it, between that light and the blazing sword, just what sort of person are you, Alfin? Can you use Dan and astral arts like Rinwell, perhaps? He wouldn't know, Dohalim. He doesn't have any memories from his past, remember? Besides, we should really be getting out of here. I suppose you're right. Forgive me. We've almost reached Nias, the capital of Mahag Sar. With any luck, we'll find a place there for Xion to rest. <sighs> hey!
Are we in the right place? This place looks like a mess. Yes, this is Niez, the capital of Mahag Sar. I don't see any signs of people. And the buildings. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't seem like the kind of place people would actually live. No soldiers, no Danans, not a soul to be seen. Yet look at these facades. This is clearly a Renan district. Hey, check out that drawing on the castle gate. That's the Darkwing's crest. It's from an old Danon legend about a hero who defeated an evil king with a torch and their trusty owl. That's his crest. I'm sure of it. Really? First time I'm hearing it. So if someone drew it on the gate... It must mean the Renans have lost control of the city. Are you suggesting the Danans rose up and defeated the Lord here? Hard to believe, but not entirely unthinkable, given the evidence. Let's look around and see if we can find someone. They might be able to tell us what happened. <sighs> this is horrible. Is there truly no one here? Why are you guys trying to the next to the My wife. 